Hello there, my name is Luciano Oliveira. I am a Brazilian attorney and today we're going to be answering this question. Can I use a foreign credit or debit card to make a large payment or purchase in Brazil? Yes, uh, Brazil is uh, pretty used to credit cards. Uh, Visa and MasterCards are commonly accepted throughout the country and American Express is also accepted by some uh, vendors, by some merchants. But American Express is not as popular in Brazil as Visa and MasterCard. Uh, important to know that Discovery and other like secondary credit cards are usually not accepted at all uh, in Brazil. So just make sure if you're traveling to Brazil, you know, ideally to have a Visa or a Master uh, credit card. Uh, there is a fee. Uh, many uh, banks, they, they're going to charge a fee when you use your credit card. In Brazil, like uh, 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 it could be like a five dollar, it could be a ten dollar fee, and in addition to the fee, they are gonna charge you a spread. Okay, they call it like a, fo a foreign currency exchange uh, rate, right? And then they charge you a percentage of the transaction. Uh, usually, it's gonna be around two percent. It could be two to three percent of uh, the total transaction. That's the spread. Okay. Uh, there is also something to pay attention to uh, if you're not used to travel and you travel to Brazil or if you try to uh, make a purchase remotely, there is a, a large chance uh, your bank is going to lock your card and you're going to need to call your bank to explain that you are in Brazil. Uh, some banks or some uh, you know, credit cards uh, companies they offer you the possibility of giving them a call up front to, to let them know you're traveling. Uh, others, they do not offer such possibilities. So usually uh, at the first transaction, your card gets locked and then you call them, you know, uh, there may be a, a phone number accessible from Brazil. So if you're in Brazil, you call this number, uh, you talk to customer service, they are going to unlock your card and hopefully after a couple of incidents, they are going to understand you are in Brazil and they're going to stop giving you a hard time. OK, uh, there is a lot of fraud, uh, you know, when you use your card, try to avoid. Don't use, you know, like for small purchases, like ideally, you know, get some money, get some cash on you so you can, you know, like if you're going to just pay for gasoline, uh, if you're buying small uh, uh, things at a grocery, try to avoid your credit card. Um, you know, just keep it for those uh, occasions where you must use a credit card. Uh, there is some uh, cloning activity in Brazil. So sometimes, uh, you know, you're going to use your card. The person is using a special type of machine that's going to uh, clone your card. That's not just in Brazil. There, there is this type of... Uh, uh, fraud uh, in other countries, but unfortunately, it's pretty common in Brazil. So our advice is, you know, use your card, you know, whenever you must use. Otherwise, try to pay uh, for smaller purchases in cash. So I hope this was helpful. If you have a specific question about this team, feel free to ask the question below. Uh, follow us for more uh, currency exchange in Brazil tips. Also tips about sending money to Brazil or sending money from Brazil. And I hope you to see you in our next video.